treatment-resistant major depressive disorder is challenging to treat. A new trial examined whether psilocybin, a tryptamine alkaloid found in some psilocybe mushrooms, might be safe and effective for treatment-resistant depression. In this phase 2 double-blind dose-finding parallel group randomized clinical trial, 233 adults with a treatment-resistant major depressive episode were randomly assigned to receive 25 mg, 10 mg, or 1 mg of synthetic psilocybin in a single dose, with all patients receiving psychological support. Participants who received the 1 mg dose served as the control group. The primary endpoint was the change from baseline to week 3 in the Montgomery Esberg Depression Rating Scale, or MADRS, total score which ranges from 0 to 60, with higher scores corresponding to greater depression severity. At week 3, the difference in change from baseline in the MADRS total score between the 25 mg group and the 1 mg group was minus 6.6 points, but the score was not significantly lower in the 10 mg group than in the 1 mg group. In key secondary endpoints, results generally favored the 25 mg group, including response at week 3, defined as at least a 50% reduction from baseline in the MADRS total score, and remission at week 3, defined as an MADRS total score of 10 or less. But sustained response at 12 weeks was not appreciably different between the groups. Adverse events were more frequent in the 25 mg group and commonly included headache, nausea, and dizziness. The 25 mg and 10 mg groups had more cases of suicidal ideation. The authors conclude that among adults with treatment-resistant depression, 25 mg of psilocybin, but not 10 mg, reduced depression severity scores significantly more than 1 mg over a period of three weeks, but was associated with adverse events. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.